y'all, it is Brian here today talking about the San Francisco 49ers. In this one, looking at the top reasons why Jimmy Garoppolo has been getting hate as our starting quarterback for the past couple of years. Most of it is on the field, some of it's off the field, but mostly we're going to be pertaining to on the field. There is an incident a couple of years ago, if you don't remember when you got that big contract where he got a lot of attention. Probably not for the best one. I'll be talking about that in a second. Hope you guys are having a great Wednesday. Nothing too crazy for me. If you don't know already, I changed my name to Brian Chung, which is my actual name. I'm pretty sure you guys know that by now because I pretty much say on my videos saying that my name is Brian and then Chung you could probably find in the description or on my channel link anywhere. So this was a perfect time to make a change and hope you guys are embracing it if you haven't noticed it already. Let's get this video started but before I do as always please like and subscribe it's going to definitely help me out a lot. Click that bell notification to get notified of future videos. Share the channel share this content with fellow Niner faithfuls. Let's get this started. 49ers top reasons why quarterback Jimmy Garoppolo has been getting a lot of hate for the past couple years. Before I get it started honorable mention his association with Tom Brady. I I will say the one thing he did get out of Brady was quarterback sneaks because I haven't seen Jimmy miss a quarterback sneak at all during his time in San Francisco. Whether it's fourth or one, fourth and inches, he can get it in there and get that first down. I credit Tom Brady a lot on the reason why Jimmy is so good at it, in my opinion. When you're associated with Brady, on the other hand, with Super Bowl wins and just being a backup in New England to a starter in San Francisco, you're bound to get some hate because of TB12 that you have right there. I think that's a very minute reason, but it's still a reason why he gets hated a little bit in San Francisco. Number three for me is going to be the contract that he got in 2018 offseason. Five years, $137 million contract. I mean, when you get paid like that with a handful of starts in both New England and San Francisco, yeah, you're bound to get some hate, definitely, because he was, I think, the highest paid quarterback at that time in NFL history. Then I think Kirk Cousins took him over or something like that. When you get paid like that for very minimal starts then yeah people are going to be jealous and hateful about that it's like man jimmy g wow only what like five six seven starts in the nfl and he's getting paid that much but for the 49ers to their credit they had to make the move because they needed a franchise quarterback and is jimmy garoppolo the franchise quarterback well not in the long term anymore but you're looking at it from 2018 yeah definitely because he got you some credible wins during that five game stretch i know they weren't making the playoffs but teams like the titans and the jaguars at that time were vibing for a playoff spot. Jalen Ramsey called Jimmy Garoppolo, you know, weird stuff, but hey, he got the last lap anyways, and he's still getting the last lap in San Francisco right now with him being in Los Angeles. I thought it was very warranted because they had to find a franchise quarterback. We haven't had one in a long time. I mean, I'd say since Alex Smith or even before Alex Smith, Steve Young for a Hall of Famer of a quarterback. Jimmy was the guy. I did not blame him for paying him a lot of money for that. But is it worth it? He's worth it if he can stay healthy like in Super Bowl 54 2019 season. But he's definitely not worth it when he can't stay healthy like 2018 and 2020. It's a mixed bag of yes and no's. For the most part, if you look at his career right now, probably a no, unfortunately. But if he was able to stay healthy, then yes, he was definitely worth the $137 million contract. Pretty much the reason why the 49ers are looking for his replacement is because he can't stay healthy. But hopefully he can in 2021. But I'm not be looking to the future. I'll do that for another time. Big contract, very little starts. That is going to be a recipe for eight. Number two for me, and this can pertain to Niner fans as well, is the turnovers. They can be absolutely ridiculous. For me, I've seen him play in San Francisco since 2017, and I haven't seen him throw an interception to the point where it absolutely lo loses you the game, like the game losing interception, but I've seen him make some boneheaded decisions holding the ball too long. That deserves a little bit of hate as well just because you don't want anybody turning the ball over. You don't want to be like Mark Sanchez or other quarterbacks. I don't know, like Mitch Trubisky. He could turn the ball over once in a while. Jimmy, he is very bad at that. And I think that's another reason why they do want to go to another direction in quarterback. I don't think it's the main reason why, but those turnovers, they can absolutely kill Kyle Shanahan. I know he's upset every time he does throw one. But, you know, when you have a slinger like him, he's bound to be throwing some turnovers. So it's not good at all. I think this is a big hate, not just for people outside of San Francisco, but people for us as well. And that's probably the very few reasons I do hate Jimmy Garoppolo blows because he does have bad turnovers not at the worst times but definitely not at great times as well turnovers lose you games for the most part and jimmy luckily he hasn't lost too many games because of turnovers but if he were to start turning the ball over a lot in 2021 then yes since they have a quarterback i'm assuming they will definitely replace him real quickly so he has to cut down on the turnovers this year and he'll have a great season in 2021 number one for me i think the biggest reason why he gets a lot of hate in San Francisco or just outside of San Francisco is definitely porn star Jimmy G. I think you all know this from the 2018 offseason. He was living life. He got his big contract and then now he's going out with this woman. I don't remember her name, but you guys pretty much know what's happening there. And I think that's really where the catalyst on where his hate gets a lot from. I know that sounds weird to do an off the field thing, but I don't remember people hating him even when he got that big contract, $137 million contract. People are like, oh, they just overpaid him or anything like that. But when you go out with someone 
like her, I guess, then yeah, that's going to be a lot of hate and it's going to be really weird. I mean, you hear Stephen A. Smith that time he was gone porn star Jimmy G. I guess rightfully so. I mean, personally for me, that doesn't really bother me. But at the same time, other people, I think this is where it really fumes. And this he's one of the most polarizing quarterbacks in the NFL right now, including Dak Prescott. I think those two fairly and unfairly get a lot of hate. And I don't know why Jimmy G in particular, I mean, he's a quiet dude. I don't really hear him off the field at all, minus that event in 2018. But ever since then, he just gets a lot of hate. Anything he does great is, no, the defense did well. Anything he does bad, oh, it's all Jimmy G. He's not the franchise quarterback. I think a lot of it stems to that little thing right there. I don't know if you guys agree with me, but I just feel like when he had that little event, had that little date or whatever you want to call it, then it's going to be raising eyebrows on his character and what have you. But you know what? It is what it is. I'm still a big Jimmy Garoppolo fan. I've been a big fan ever since he got here in San Francisco. I still am. I hope he has a great season in 2021, but he really has to step it up because he's going to have a lot of competition. going to have a lot of heat coming in, assuming that they do draft somebody number three overall. That's it, guys. Please let me know what you guys think about our man Jimmy Garoppolo. What are the reasons why people hate him, or do you hate him in particular? Please let me know in the comments below. If you guys like this, please like and subscribe. It's going to help me out a lot. I'll be catching you guys up probably tomorrow on a Thursday when I talk about Mac Jones and the whole, the whole hype machine about him. Bye guys. Love y'all. Y'all have a great rest of your night. Go Niners all day.